Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for August 2022. This is a love reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love every day and energy to attract more love into your own lives. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading, so they might have to do with career, money, moving, travel. Mondays are something different every week. This is the only day I do a straight love reading, but other weeks I'll do a more detailed Celtic cross or even a Law of Attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Virgo need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Virgo? Messages for Virgo about love, please. All right, so we'll start here by drawing three cards to represent your energy. Three cards for the person you're attracting. Three cards on the advice. Your, your energy is the Nine of Pentacles. The Moon has been coming out a lot and the Magician. Their energy is Temperance, the Tower. Interesting because in the order, it goes Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups. The advice is the Three of Cups, the World. Wow. King of Wands. Well, you might be attracting a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sag, you've definitely got Sagittarius here. You have here uh, five major arcana. That is significant when we only have nine cards here. Okay, Virgo, you've got love here. Yes, it's in the cards. You've got a card of engagement. You have, you know, the world is everything. It's that pinnacle. It really is the place where you say, this is it. So in a love reading, that's fabulous. Well, you've got a... A manifesting energy here with the moon and the magician. So with the nine of pentacles, she's a single lady card, but not for long. The nine of pentacles, nines are about attainment and completion and a new beginning. So you've got your goals accomplished. So those of you that have had a situation where you've been saying, look, you know, I, I moved, I did this, I did that. Now, I, now it's time to have someone to share this journey with. You're right on track. With the Nine of Pentacles, you are going to be attracting attention. You definitely have new friendships coming in, but I do feel like you have a relationship here. And it may be somebody that went through a hell of a journey, whether it was something with their own personal life. Um, like I even get like, you know, alcohol or something, but they're sober. This is not attracting some addict, okay? I don't want you to feel like, oh God, great. Um, but I do feel like if it's that or they went through something very challenging, but it brought them a lot of growth. So with the moon, that's a card in new cycles. And it's also too where more is going to be revealed to you. So you may have a secret admirer here with this energy, but I do feel like they like what they see. And maybe somebody that you know already, but with the moon, it's going to bring you together. That's where we get... A new cycle, and if somebody's been interested, this is where they're going to get ballsy. And and I don't care male or female, they're gonna they're gonna come out and and make sure that you're aware that they're interested. Um, but I do feel like it delivers you somebody who's going to make a great companion for you. So with the energy of the magician, you are a conduit for the universe. You bring heaven to earth. It's really a card that symbolizes you are the universe. All this is is attraction. Everything is energy. Everything is energy. I don't care if it's the chair that you're sitting on right now. It's energy. And so it really is just a matter of lining up with an energetic match. And so you've done what you've needed to do. You've got yourself in order. You're ready for it. And the universe wants to deliver it. The universe wants to interact with you. So with the magician, you may have more power here than you realize too. So I do feel like whoever you're attracting is going to be quite smitten with you. And I do feel like they will feel like, you know, like, I can't believe I found you. I finally found you. Not I finally found someone. I finally found you. I feel like when you two align or if you already have, 
they know that you were an energetic match. There's no denying it. You know, it's really apparent that this was drawn together. It's almost this magnetism that just feels really solid. And I also feel like, too, in the relationship, you're going to bring a lot to the table, both of you. It's going to be a great partnership. You know, if there's certain things that are different about you, they're very complementary. So it's not going to be a it's going to be very cohesive. There's no, there's nothing about it that feels like friction or anything that just doesn't feel compatible. So their energy is interesting because they've got the rainbow after the storm with the 10 of cups. I mean, this tells a hell of a story. You know, they've got the Archangel Michael here. So I do feel like there's something about them rising again. If they had some kind of setback, it was a setup for something more. And I feel like they have a great attitude. They don't sit still. I hear they're part of the winner's circle. Whatever this is, if it was a job, if it was even like a house fire, there was something pretty devastating with the tower. And so with the Archangel Michael there, they were protected and supportive. But they're also, too, they've got a wonderful connection with Source Energy, whether they you know, recognize that or not, they are. There's something about their energy. The the card of temperance we know is moderation, but it's also like wear the world like a loose fitting garment. So you may find that whatever they've had to deal with here, it's not only brought gratitude into their life, but it makes them very kind of easygoing. They have a very unconditional way about them. And you're going to love that because when they come home at the end of the day, they're not going to spend an hour bitching at you about their coworkers, right? Who wants that? You know, they're going to be present. They're in the now. And with the Ten of Cups, that's what I love about this. You've got the angel there, that big tower moment, and then that rainbow after the storm. The Ten of Cups brings in perfection. It's a new cycle. It's full of power, full of life, but it's that celebration. It's the happy family card. So I feel like this delivers everything they've been looking for. There's nothing missing here, right? It's just a completion and it's beautiful. And so those are, you know, the way that they, the happy family, they celebrate, they're dancing, they've got their arms up wide. I do feel like it's very much that. It feels like home. It feels like the connection they've been looking for and it's right here. So I love the advice on this. You might have the best advice I think I've seen. Well, we've got, again, the Three of Cups is a card of engagement. I mean, that it truly is a, a celebration, a time to come together. Threes are multiplication, growth, and development. And so with this, it's the growth of love. We take the two of you as individuals. That's the one, the singular. The two is you two together, and the three is the love that it forms. And so with the energy of the King of Wands, that's the passion, the excitement. But the King of Wands is also an energy of commitment. The King of Wands is very loyal energy. And so it's it's also, too, though, I feel like there's somewhat of an ambitious energy here. So you have similar dreams, goals, desires, and you're going to put it into action. So the King of Wands puts everything into action. So you've got the love going you take that step out there, you get connected, and from there you build a future together. It's beautiful. So with the world, we can't, you know, the world is absolutely everything. It is a beautiful change of perspective. It's synthesis. It's coming together. She's the dancer of the tarot. So you have dancing here multiple times. Now on the mundane level, if dancing is something you like to do, Get yourself out there because there may be something that's uh, a communication from source there. But with the world, it's also a portal into the divine. So meditate. Don't be shy about asking. Ask liberally. Ask specifically. Tell the universe. Command to the universe exactly who you want because they're here and there's a union coming. The world, too, I do want to say is a card of moving, too. So for some of you, if it is a long-distance relationship, I do feel like you'll move. You'll be together with this energy. Yes, it's in the cards. Let's see what the angels have to say for you, Virgo, about love. What else does Virgo need to know about love, please? Messages for Virgo about love. Advice for Virgo, please. Remain positive, okay? So with this, we get what we are. And so this positive energy shines like a light and people around you are going to be attracted to it. You have here, 
no need to worry. So you definitely have love coming in here, especially with the advice sets here. It's all about a new, when you, when you see things like the world, that's all about a new chapter coming in, but it's a chapter of pure bliss. It's a chapter that brings in love. And so then we have here, the situation will improve. There's no downside to this energy. You know, we've got the tower, but the tower always comes in to bring in something more. It's not a negative as much as it is a new beginning. They say a year from now, but I don't feel like that's when you're going to meet this person. It maybe feels more like into maybe October, November to me. But in a year from now, leave me a comment about where you are in that relationship because I don't see it ending. It'll still be going by then. You have a yes, okay? So there's love here for you, Virgo. I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.